Okay, this is the remains of the Great Tower at Castle Acre Castle. Um, excavations of this area unexpectedly revealed that the first building finished by William de Warren around the 1080s was a likely fortified grand country house. And by the 1140s it was strengthened and defences were improved and ditches dark etc and the house was fortified and then 1165 the building was transformed into a great tower and so you can see the remnants of the the walls surrounding it and over the bridge where we have the defences, they've got the uh, the ditch here, out here we have the domestic buildings and a great moat, dry moat, and it's one of the, the rarest in the country where it has about three different moats going around it, there's another two over there, this is the late 11th century gatehouse, so it would have been quite impressive in its day but it was mainly used as a, a fortified country house where justice was dispensed to the locals etc. That's what it would have looked like at one point in the 1165. It started off in 1070 which was like that. Eleven forties. It was turned into more of a fortified place, and then eleven sixty-five. It was transformed into that. And this this image shows the keep in the early thirteenth century, when King Henry the Third was entertained four times at Castle Acre by the sixth Earl Warren, descendant of William de Warren, who was involved with building. Castle Lake, a priory down the road as well, which is well worth a visit. So there we go. Over a thousand years old, what's left of it?